what you should not do in early pregnancy what you should not do in early pregnancy in today's video we are going to talk about the things you need to avoid in early pregnancy are you a pregnant mother are you asking yourself what should you avoid doing in early pregnancy by the end of this video you are going to learn about what you should not do in early pregnancy the things you need to avoid doing in early pregnancy Gerard Massa the health educator I welcome you for today's lesson and before we proceed remember to subscribe for new videos we release every day at exactly 17 hours East African time at exactly 17 hours new videos are released on this channel so remember to subscribe so that you do not miss any videos we release we talk about pregnancy tips we talk about the ovulation calendar we do talk about the ovulation calculator and we answer all your questions in the comments below so in today's video we are talking about what you should not do in early pregnancy Gerard Massa the health educator and we are going to talk about this topic after this short message don't leave I thank you my friend for staying around and we are talking about what you should not do in early pregnancy. The first thing you should avoid doing, the first point is that don't eat these foods. Specifically, the foods we are talking about include raw meat, daily meats, high fish, uh, fish which is containing high mercury, and then also smoked seafood and then also raw eggs. So the food you are supposed to avoid in early pregnancy include raw meat. We tell you, we request that you avoid raw meat, daily meat, fish which is high in mercury and smoked seafood because these foods can actually contain causative organisms, they can contain bacteria like listeria, they can contain toxoplasmosis, uh, toxoplasmosis causing bacteria, they could also contain salmonella which is known to cause typhoid. So if you are pregnant and you would really, you have the craving to eat some foods like uh, raw meat, uh, fish which is high in mercury and then smoked seafood, make sure that you have this cooked very well. If it is meat, make sure that you eat meat which is cooked very well. Because if you eat meat which is half cooked, which is not cooked very well, on the outside you may think that it is cooked, it is prepared very well, but when you try to cut in the middle, you realize that the meat is half cooked. If you are pregnant, please, however much you are craving to eat this particular uh, slicey, uh, spicy piece of meat, make sure that you do not eat it. Because if it contains anything we've talked about, if it contains the following organisms, that is toxoplasmosis or toxoplasma gondi uh, parasite, this parasite can cause toxoplasmosis, which may be life retaining. It can actually cause serious problems for you. If you are pregnant, more specifically, if you are in the early trimester, make sure that you avoid eating raw or half cooked foods. We are moving to our next point. Next thing you need to avoid doing in early pregnancy is don't paint the nursery. Don't paint the nursery. Stay away from painting. Anything to do with paint, do not expose yourself. The main reason is that if at all you involve yourself, I mean, I mean you get in a room which is full of paint, which is fresh, there are high chances that you could encounter or you could get toxicity. You may breathe in these chemicals, which you may not know which solvents were used to make the paint. Any solvents, any paint, is dangerous it's not good for a pregnant mother the main issue is that you may suffer from toxicity much as you may not suffer it um, you may not feel that you are you are inhaling the toxic chemicals from the paint but still when you breathe in the air you breathed in containing the toxic chemicals from the paint goes up to your lungs where it is filtered and remember the filtering takes place in the lungs and then Thereafter, the blood is transported to your heart and then your heart 
transports the, the blood to the rest of the body, including your growing baby. So if you are pregnant in the early trimester, make sure that you stay away from paint. The main reason is that you may suffer from toxicity. The growing baby may suffer from toxicity, which is not good. It may end up bringing birth defects, which may actually not be good for you and the whole family. Next thing you should avoid in pregnancy, we are talking about what you should avoid, what you should not do in early pregnancy. Jared Massa, the health educator, is the name of the channel. And I welcome you, my friend, once again. Remember to subscribe so that you do not miss videos like this we release every day. Next tip is you should avoid caffeine. Caffeine is really appetizing. It is really, it feels good to take it, but if you are pregnant, make sure that you stay away from caffeine the main reason is that it is a stimulant and at the same time it is a diuretic being a stimulant means it can raise your blood pressure it can also increase your heartbeat if you are a pregnant mother just the other day i worked on a i had a client who is pregnant and she was talking of a rapid she's getting a rapid heartbeat we call it tachycardia and then she was talking of she was having issues but when we went ahead and assessed we discovered that caffeine was the cause and we advised her to stop taking caffeine and at least until when she has given birth so if you are pregnant and you are having a rapid heartbeat every time you feel palpitations then you should think about the caffeine you are taking but still if you are not taking caffeine and you still you have a rapid heartbeat you feel like you, you, you breathe with difficulty we call it dyspnea consider talking to your doctor this could be blood pressure in pregnancy this could be eclampsia or preeclampsia which is blood pressure in pregnancy next tip what you should not do in early pregnancy is you should avoid self-medication. Avoid self-medication. If you are pregnant and you are feeling headache, you feel like you, you feel unwell, make sure that you should still you should speak to your doctor because when you self-medicate, there are high chances that you could take some drugs which may be teratogenic. Teratogenic means they may cause birth defects to you. There are common drugs which should be avoided in pregnancy. For example, most of the common painkillers like ibuprofen, they are the ibuprofen, diclofenac, metronidazole. For example, ibuprofen and diclofenac, they belong to a group of drugs known as NSAIDs and NSAIDs or non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs tend to actually cause issues on your cervix and they may actually lead to early miscarriage next is you should wear you should actually avoid wearing stilettos if you are pregnant you are in the early stages of your pregnancy make sure that you avoid wearing stilettos or high heeled shoes the main reason is that as the baby is growing in your womb there's going to be increase in size and then there's going to be a shift in your center of gravity remember before pregnancy you were okay you could put on your high heels you could design you could look i mean the point is when you get pregnant you should think about changing your lifestyle you should actually opt for more flat shoes you should put on shoes which are flat so that you do not fall because pregnant mothers can easily fall because of the change in their center of gravity and when you put on the high heeled shoes then it means your chances of falls are very high and remember when you fall it is really not good because you may fall and you may cause injuries for example you may cause early rupture or premature rupture of the membranes even you could even cause more issues to the growing baby and this may not be good remember if you are pregnant and accidentally you fall then you should hurriedly go to hospital and then you should have a peri uh, you should have an obstetric ultrasound scan done at the hospital whereby fetal viability or the fetal status the, the status of the baby will be assessed by your doctor by your sonographer and then in case 
something or in case something that is not normal is seen then management or treatment can be given next what you should not do in early pregnancy is don't hang out in the bathtub or in the sauna make sure that you do not hang out in the bathtub or the sauna the main issue is that when you are pregnant and you hang out a lot in the bathtub or sauna the high chances that the raised body temperature may cause birth defects or they may cause effects on the, pre on the growing baby because of the persistent raised body temperature because of the persistent raised temperatures in the sauna if you are pregnant and you are in the early stages of pregnancy even though you are in the later stages in the first second or the third trimester make sure that you avoid the sauna avoid the bathtub because the persistent raised temperature can cause birth defects on the growing baby next pregnancy tip what you should not do in early pregnancy is you should do you should avoid changing cat litter or you should avoid changing kitty litter the main reason is that if you are pregnant and you have cats the high chances that the cats are going to leave behind litter offices if you are pregnant and you go ahead cleaning this cat litter then there are high chances that you could be infected you could get an infection from if you are pregnant and you change cat litter there are high chances that you could be infected you could get an infection from toxoplasma gondii parasite you could get an infection from toxoplasma gondi parasite this is a parasite that lives in cat litter and if you are pregnant and you change the cat litter there are high chances that when you get this infection from toxoplasma gondii parasite you could end up with a disease called toxoplasmosis this is a serious infection and if you get toxoplasmosis and you do not get treatment actually the end results may not be good for you and the baby so if you are pregnant make sure that you avoid changing cat litter if you have cats in the house make sure that you have someone help you do the changing make sure that you put on gloves if there's no one to help you you put on gloves and immediately after changing the cat litter you should wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water so we are talking about what you should not do in early pregnancy and we are moving on to the next tip what you should not do in early pregnancy don't breathe second hand smoke don't breathe second hand smoke when we talk about second hand smoke much as there are some pregnant mothers who may be smoking actually if you are pregnant and you are smoking i kindly request that you stop smoking immediately and also if you stay with someone who is a smoker make sure that you find ways of at least at, at least avoiding the second hand smoke we call it passive smoke because in cigarette smoke there are over 4000 chemicals which are known to cause even cancer imagine the growing baby and you are exposing the baby to these 4000 chemicals what is going to be the end result so stay away from cigarette smoke because of the increased chances of getting complications birth birth defects and issues like uh, even cancer next point what you should not do in early pregnancy is don't sit or stand for too long if you are pregnant and you sit for too long you stand for too long when you stand for too long there's going to be increased weight on your pelvic bones and then you are going to end up with lots of low back pain or lower abdominal pain next is when you sit for too long there are high chances that you are going to end up with lots of pain and yes you should at least make sure that you take short breaks and then move around this will help in blood moving through throughout your body and next pregnancy tip what you should not do in early pregnancy is make sure that you consult the professionals whenever you have any questions whenever you feel unwell make sure that you consult the professionals you should talk to your midwives you should talk to your doctors you should talk to the gynecologists the main reason is that pregnant mothers more spe more specifically the 
prime gravidas or the pages, pregnant mothers for the first time may take all the information they get, even from maybe uh, friends who are not doctors or who are not in the medical profession and they may end up with complications. There are lots of mothers I've worked on. There are lots of pregnant mothers I've worked on. Some of them, by the time they reach to do, they, by the time they reach hospital, by the time you do an ultrasound scan on them when they are already retained products of conception, when, they are, when the pregnancy has already been lost. So when you try to ask, when you try to talk to them and you, when we try to talk to them and ask who gave them the information, who told them to take some herbal drugs, they tell you that it, the name, it's the neighbor who told them to take the herb, it's the neighbor who told them to to do whatever they did and normally this may not be good it does not mean that you should not take advice from the neighbors but if they are not medical professionals then it may not be good do not take any advice from people who are not qualified to give you the advice because you may end up with issues to the baby to make sure that you talk to your doctor make sure that you talk to your midwife and then whenever you feel unwell at the end of it all you'll be able to have a healthy pregnancy of course putting god first and trusting in god for everything we have talked about what you should not do in early pregnancy gerard massa the health educator is the name of the channel i welcome you my friend for today's lesson and i'm really so thankful that you've stayed for this while talking about what you should not do in early pregnancy and as a summary we have talked about the following points the first point is that you should not eat raw or half-cooked foods these include raw meat daily meat fish which is high in mercury smoked sea fish raw eggs and soft cheese make sure that you avoid these even unpasteurized milk next point is don't paint the nursery or avoid paint because of toxicity next point is avoid caffeine caffeine is not good because it's a stimulant and a diuretic you do not need this as a pregnant mother next point is avoid self-medication or don't self-medicate always talk to your doctor or your midwife or gynecologist next don't wear stilettos or high-heeled shoes because of the risk of falling down next don't hang out for long or avoid the bathtub and the sauna next point is don't change cut litter or cut feces next is don't breathe secondhand smoke next point is don't drink alcohol because it can end up causing issues to the growing baby for example the alcoholic fetal syndrome which is not good next is don't sit or stand for too long and then lastly don't believe everything you read make sure that you talk to your doctors or your professionals and then as a bonus make sure that you do not carry heavy things and then sleep on your sides either the left lateral position or the right lateral but left lateral is so good because it gives lots of space for the baby gerard massa the health educator is the name of the channel and i'm really so happy that you have stayed with me we have talked about what you should not do in early pregnancy and by this point i believe you will take these points and also consult your doctor for a second opinion regarding these points but these are the advice we give and they do work thank you my friend and have yourself a fantastic and healthy day see you in my next video Video, new videos I released every day at exactly 17 hours East African time and then also I have a book I've written it's called the ovulation calendar get pregnant faster the link is in the description it's the first link make sure that you go there and read the book if you are a couple and you have tried to get pregnant but it's not working out read my book it has lots of important information some of the information I am sharing with you here but there's lots of information packed for you you'll be able to get pregnant faster by making sure that you read my book and then also consult other professionals but read my book there are lots of testimonials coming out and yes i welcome you for today's lesson remember to subscribe for new videos and 
have yourself a fantastic and healthy day bye bye thank you my friend for attending today's lesson i hope you have learned something and please if you have any questions in regards to what we've just discussed leave your questions in the comments ask me your questions i will answer all your questions on this channel gerard massa the health educator i talk about women's health have yourself a fantastic and healthy day and may god bless us all bye bye